A major storm system will be impacting the United States over the next seven days with multiple rounds of severe weather with damaging winds, large hail, and tornadoes being a possibility. Additionally, the warmest weather of the year so far will be impacting most of the country over the next week. So in today's forecast, we are going to break down exactly what you need to know about the weather that will be impacting the United States over the next seven days. And we'll begin with what's happening across the country today. And the weather remains active. We've had a lot of thunderstorms across the Great Plains over the last 24 hours and we are expecting more severe weather in basically the same exact areas today and tomorrow so buckle up for more isolated to scattered severe storms in addition to the potential for heavy rainfall that could lead to some localized flooding and then in the Ohio Valley we've had a weak low pressure system that has been very slowly moving across this area over the last couple of days that has led to some scattered showers and thunderstorms but even more importantly there's just been a boatload of cloud cover so there really has not been much sunshine in these areas for the last day or two but the good news is that this storm system will continue to weaken and also move further off to the northeast over the next day or two, which should allow for sunshine and at least some nicer weather to return for the Ohio Valley and the Dixie Alley. But I think that'll change a little bit as we go into next week as severe weather will make some return to these areas. Also, this is one of the rarest things that we've had so far this year. Back over in eastern Alaska, we have heat advisories in effect. This has never happened in Alaska's history, but we have heat advisories in effect across areas like Fairbanks, Alaska, where temperatures will be in the mid to upper 80s today. So definitely some really rare news. We hardly ever talk about Alaska, but this is something that you do not see very often. Now, over the next several days, we are expecting a big weather pattern change that'll lead to a lot more severe weather as we go into the work week. And right now, our jet stream and our mid-level flow is very far off to the north with a very weak trough over the Ohio Valley and then ridging back over in the southwest. And this is basically allowing for some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Not really a whole lot of organized severe weather, though, but that'll change as we go into early next week as our flow is going to start to dip a bit further down to the south and we will see more troughing over the Rockies as we go into early next week which should allow for at least a few severe weather events to take place across the Midwest and the Northern Plains and we may even see a pretty intense line of thunderstorms on Monday back over in the Midwest and we will likely see multiple lines of thunderstorms throughout the week with this weather pattern especially if we get some localized areas of northwesterly or very far westerly flow here. As we go into Tuesday and into Wednesday storm systems will continue to move across the northern plains which will lead to more severe weather which we're going to go more detail about here in just a moment but basically if you're in the central northern plains the midwest or the ohio valley be prepared for severe weather possibilities almost every single day throughout the work week eventually by thursday into friday that storm system will move into the northeast and then eventually high pressure will dominate in the southern plains and then another large storm system is likely to form back over in the pacific northwest and this right here would be our next big storm system after what we are watching for during the early to middle portions of this week so I'll we'll have to keep an eye on this as we go into next weekend and eventually into early next week as of now the GFS model does not really have it progressively moving across the Rockies more than anything it actually turns more off to the north which would eliminate a lot of our severe weather potential and also if high pressure is really this dominant with a huge ridge building into the Midwest we may actually see a little bit of a break from severe weather but it could go two ways we could see this low pressure system move north basically a lesser chance of severe weather across a large chunk of the country but if this were to go further east we could be talking about a relatively significant storm as we get closer to the end of June and then beyond this things become a lot more uncertain but I do think our weather pattern will continue to stay active with multiple shots of severe weather every single day. Now let's talk more about the severe weather potential for the next several days and we'll begin with today which is Saturday and we have a level two out of five slight risk of severe weather from Montana back into northwestern Kansas and a marginal threat that encompasses almost all of the Great Plains with the main concern for today being damaging winds also very large hail will be a possibility especially around Billings, Montana, and back through northeastern Wyoming. And then there will also be a potential for an isolated tornado or two, which is very similar to what we saw yesterday. We end up having a couple of tornadoes that actually touched down back over in western Nebraska. Otherwise, we didn't really see much in the way of tornadic activity, but I do think that chance of a tornado or two will basically be the same as yesterday, as the wind shear and all the other ingredients are very, very, very similar to yesterday. As we go into Sunday, the threat of severe weather will actually grow across the Great Plains with a slightly larger slide risk of severe weather from southeastern Montana into northwestern Kansas and a large marginal threat of severe weather back over into parts of North Texas and a small little marginal threat back over in the mid-Atlantic where the main concerns will once again be damaging winds and also large to very large hail. There's also a chance once again for a few tornadoes. This will be mainly from Billings, Montana back over towards Goodland, Kansas. So make sure that you are staying weather aware. And then on Monday, the threat of severe weather will continue, especially across the northern and central plains and even into the
into the Midwest, where we are going to see more scattered severe storms. In this slight risk is where our greatest threat of damaging winds and hail will reside. We may even see a couple of storms with very large hail. What I think will happen on Monday is that we're going to start with a few discrete supercells, and then it'll eventually turn into a line of thunderstorms across these areas. But I also want to point out that there is a chance that our slight risk of severe weather does expand further to the east. I honestly think we'll actually see a much larger line of thunderstorms take place here, at least multiple clusters of storms that at least lead to scattered damaging winds here across the Midwest and the Northern Plains on Monday. So definitely make sure that you're staying weather aware. And then on Tuesday, our threat of severe weather will be mainly here across the Central Plains. And then on Wednesday, I think we have a much better chance of a slightly more significant round of severe storms across the Midwest and even back through the Great Lakes where all hazards of severe weather would be on the table. Now let's go day by day with the timing of severe weather between now all the way through Wednesday, beginning with what's happening today. A few scattered severe storms will be possible throughout the afternoon hours across Montana and also Wyoming, with the biggest concern again being very large hail and damaging winds, but an isolated tornado will be a possibility. I think our greatest tornado threat will be near sunset tonight. This right here is pictured around 7 o'clock Mountain Time. There may be a couple of storms in Wyoming and maybe one back over Montana that are tornadic at that time, so definitely stay weather aware. Again, there's a low chance that we go live for this today, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And then on Sunday, we'll have another chance of severe weather here across Montana and Wyoming with a few more discrete supercells being a possibility. And then generally speaking, around 8 o'clock or so, all these storms will start to bow out into lines of thunderstorms, really with the only concern at that point being damaging winds and maybe a spin-up tornado. Back over in the Central Plains, it's going to be pretty active over the next 24 to 48 hours. Beginning with this morning, we have a cluster of thunderstorms already out there producing isolated damaging winds and maybe a low tornado threat also through the mid to late morning here across Oklahoma and southeastern Kansas. By around lunchtime today, that line will be pushing into southeastern Oklahoma and then it will eventually weaken as it moves into Arkansas late this afternoon. It may clip northeastern North Texas, but I don't think we're going to be seeing much in the way of tornadoes. I think more than anything, just isolated damaging winds, heavy rainfall and some lightning. And then as we go into tonight, a few more storms will be possible across Oklahoma. We may even see a small upgrade to a slight risk for damaging winds in this area, especially since another round of storms will be a possibility tonight. And then eventually into tomorrow morning, things start to dry out. And then as we go into tomorrow afternoon, there will be a chance for more scattered showers and thunderstorms with isolated severe weather continuing with large hail and damaging winds being the main concern. But overall, most of the storms that happen in this general vicinity over the next 24 to 48 hours, which is Saturday and Sunday, are not going to be very organized. This is going to be pretty disorganized activity based off mesoscale features. On the other hand, a lot of the storms that we are seeing back over in the northern plains are coming from a low pressure system that is helping to spin up even a low tornado threat. So generally speaking, very disorganized storm activity for the next couple of days anywhere to the south and east there of Nebraska. But that'll change as we go into Monday, because as we go into Monday, we are expecting the potential for maybe two different lines of thunderstorms. By around the early to mid-afternoon hours, there is a chance for severe storms to fire up back over in central Minnesota, with the biggest concern being damaging winds, large hail, and a low tornado threat during the afternoon. But as we go into the late afternoon and early evening, that line of thunderstorms will be pushing across southeastern Minnesota, Wisconsin, and then also another round of storms will start to really ramp up back over in the central plains, which is where our slight risk of severe weather is in place. So overall, as we go into Monday, I think a lot of what we're going to be seeing is damaging winds and hail. There is a chance, though, for a tornado or two, especially out of our initial supercells that fire off during the mid to late afternoon and the very early evening hours. So right now, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday look like the best chances of going live. And we are going to talk more about Tuesday and Wednesday in just a moment, which could also be significant in the Midwest, Northern and Central Plains, and maybe even the Ohio Valley. Now let's talk more about the weather that will be happening beyond Monday of this week. And we'll begin with Tuesday. So Tuesday, we are expecting scattered showers and thunderstorms across the central and northern plains with another potential for a mesoscale convective system, otherwise known as a line of thunderstorms, to move across South Dakota and Nebraska with damaging winds being the greatest concern. And there will also be a threat for large hail and an isolated tornado threat. I think on Wednesday is one of the chances that we actually have a slightly more legitimate tornado threat in the Midwest and the Ohio Valley. I don't think this is screaming a tornado outbreak as of right now, but obviously this is a fairly populated region, and I definitely want to make sure that everybody on Wednesday is staying weather aware here in the Midwest and the Great Lakes, because if we have a more organized low pressure system, I definitely could see there being a potential for a few tornadoes, damaging winds, and large hail. For right now, again, this does not look like a tornado outbreak, but it is definitely a day that we want to be keeping an eye on. On Thursday, severe weather will continue to move to the east with scattered severe storms possible from New England all the way back over into the Tennessee Valley. Again, damaging winds, hail, and a low tornado risk will exist. I think Friday is going to likely be a break day. I do not see there being a whole lot of severe weather on Friday, but notice the GFS model is showing a very strong low pressure system over Wyoming on Friday. 
One of the biggest things with what's going to be happening this weekend, and we talked about this earlier in the forecast, will basically be the direction that this low pressure system goes. If it goes further to the north and this ridge is much more intense, we're probably not going to see much in the way of severe weather this upcoming weekend. However, if this ridge is weaker and this low pressure system goes east, we could easily see the potential for some more significant severe weather as we go into the weekend. So this is a big wild card as of right now. GFS model not really showing much in the way of significant severe weather, but does start to show storms returning early the following week. But obviously, again, that this is still about seven to 10 days from now. Things could change between now and then. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the bell icon so you're notified with the latest updates. And beyond the severe weather potential over the next couple of weeks, we are also going to be talking about the beginning of astronomical summer in just a few days, which also means warmer weather is on the horizon. And unfortunately, above average temperatures are going to continue throughout most of this week across the country, most notably across the Rockies over the next few days. And then by the middle and end of the work week, that warm air is going to really start to build across the Midwest, Northern and Central Plains and back into the Ohio Valley. There will be some relief back along the West Coast by around the weekend. So that's some good news there. But overall, very warm weather is on the horizon. And get ready if you're in the Midwest, we will likely have some 80s and 90s by the end of this week. These are some of the high temperatures as we go into tomorrow, which is Sunday. We have high temperatures forecasted in the mid to upper 80s and low 90s in Nebraska, South Dakota, and even back over just to the west of Chicago, even some mid 80s over there. And then notice if you're back over in Arizona, this is very typical, but temperatures unfortunately into the 110s on Sunday. And then by Thursday, which is multiple days from now, we are still forecasting basically the same thing, high temperatures in the 80s and 90s for most of the Great Plains. And then back even into southern New England, we could actually see some low 90s, which is not something you see very often, even in the middle of June for those areas. And as always, thank you all so much for watching today's forecast. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. We'll likely have a video tomorrow and then possibly even a live stream one of these next couple of days. But if we don't have one this weekend, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday are likely live stream days as long as we continue to see upgrades to the risks of severe weather there. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll see you all again in the next forecast or live stream.